Hey Cancer, and this is Isil. Um, I want to say sorry <laughs> for uh, not getting your initial reading out for the um, first half of November. I have been sick. I have had a rib out. I've been really, really, really busy. And um, yeah, I've been super crazy busy. So um, yeah, I want to go ahead and just get into your reading. I apologize again, but it happens. Um, so yeah, I had to tend to a bunch of stuff. Anyways, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into your reading. I'm going to go ahead and uh, shuffle for an overall energy for your sign for this month, okay? Show me overall energies for love and relationship reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Show me an overall energy in regard to the sign Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Show me an overall energy most prevalent. So you have the Queen of Pentacles, Cancer, with the Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Not terrible. So... Are finances on your mind? Is stability on your mind? Are you feeling out of balance in regard to what stabilizes you financially, be it financial or just emotional? Um, what are you getting involved with? What are you stabilizing in your life? You know, like the queen of pentacles, she's somebody who basically, you know, only really gets involved with things that are going to be fruitful. She's patient. She's willing to work on things. She's um, somebody who is a go-getter in her own life. She makes sure that she has life taken care of in regard to practicality, in regard to her children, her partner, herself. She makes sure that everything, like all the ducks are in a row, okay? She's very stable and she seeks that type of partner. You know, if she's, she can do it all on her own. And that's fine for this queen, but she also does like a partner. And this is considered the ideal female mate. Um, you know, that doesn't have to apply here, but it's part of the cards energy. The two of pentacles talks about balancing energies, you know, stabilizing energies, feeling out of balance um, emotionally you know, structurally, emotionally, um, stability wise, it's, it, there's a lot of things going on. It can also talk about juggling two people, juggling two jobs, juggling thoughts, um, juggling your money, you know, so let's, let's go ahead and get into your reading here, Cancer. Show me energy for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you. First card out is the Sun Cancer with the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. So that's really good. Like the Sun is probably the best card in the deck. Um, it talks about clarity. It talks about um, positivity. It talks about awareness in life, you know, in our own selves, within our own lives, you know, being very clear in the direction that we choose. It talks about the universe having our back. It talks about... Um, you know, overall positivity in regard to how we view our experience, you know, and what is coming towards us is also positive. Um, it's a very, very positive card. Sometimes it talks about children. Um, either way, very, very positive energy. The Wheel of Fortune talks about, well, good fortune. It also talks about cycles. It talks about needing to take time. It's at the bottom of the deck. It's just presenting itself. I'm going to keep going. Show me more for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Love and relationship reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Show me Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You have Justice here, Cancer. So that's a Libra card. This is basically in regard to anything legal. You have good fortune very much on your side. If you have any court cases that might be um, underway, they are likely to go in your favor. Um, you may be finding out information in regard to a court case where it's like, it's all of the information you needed, you know, everything you needed comes and presents itself for you. It's almost like aha moments, you know, sometimes as well. Um, this could also be communication from somebody that you may have been wanting information from, and now they've communicated it to you. It's giving you a new understanding of whatever it is that you are holding out for. And... 
you're the better for it. Show me more for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So the Ten of Swords here, Cancer. The Ten of Swords talks about um, betrayal. It talks about frustrating energies. You know, if you were in a situation with somebody where there was unfair behavior, unfair treatment, if somebody um, was manipulative with you, if somebody, I'm going to clarify the Ten of Swords. It's interesting in this particular card, you see traitor. You know, in regard to that situation, like if somebody wronged you, if somebody stole from you, there could be a billion different reasons, but whatever's happening here, the energy is being balanced out. Again, you have the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck. So positivity. Now, sometimes when we're wronged, we have the universe. Like if, if, if we've been wronged and nothing happens, like, you know, if that person doesn't make right on it, the universe steps in and does help at times. Sometimes the lesson is to not help and um, receive that information or I'm sorry, to not receive help. And that just like causes us to grow in certain ways, you know, it causes us to look at things and have to look at things. You cannot be a victim. I mean, you can be a victim. A lot of people are a victim. What I'm saying is do not choose victim mentality if you have another option, you know, if you have the awareness, if you have the understanding that you can change your perception, you can change your outcome. Don't play the victim. Don't stay in victim mode. If you have the potential for something else, a lot of people stay in victim mode and it's really unhealthy. Oh, poor me. I'm so, you know, they did this to me and that to me. And like, I'm just innocent. No one is innocent. Even if you are innocent, you're not innocent somewhere else. Like there's nobody is 100% innocent. Okay. The only ones that are innocent are essentially babies, but they're signed up for whatever they're signed up for. And they're going to get into things that are not so innocent later on. So, you know, we all have our karma. We all have the things that we've signed up for. Anyways, I don't want to preach about that. Like probably more than half of you aren't going to believe that. Anyhow, I, I'm just going to continue on here. I'm sorry. I don't mean to segue. I just, I felt like I needed to say that. Show me more for cancer, please. Okay, so here you are, Cancer, the Queen of Cups, and then the Eight of Wands, the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So I'm feeling a necessity for emotional healing. If you've been dealing with somebody that may have wronged you, there's communication, there's, um, you know, emails, telephone calls. Um, it's almost as if, too, it's like, you're open to hearing these things, you're open to listening and receiving them, but it's almost as if there's like this, um, it's still like holding on to sadness, like an aspect of sadness in regard to this, which is okay. Um, listen to them though. It's like something is trying to be made right here, you know, and when you do hear it and you do absorb it and you allow it to change, you know, what you've been feeling about it, it's almost as if there's like a new progression towards what you want to move in towards what you want to go towards positively. Um, the Ace of Cups does talk about love. It talks about relationships. It talks about um, potential um, brand new relationships. It can talk about pregnancy, but um, it also talks about healing quite a bit. It's on the bottom of the deck. It's not popped out yet, but it's presenting itself. Show me more for Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So you have the five of swords in the reverse. So this is basically somebody trying to communicate an apology. Somebody may want forgiveness, Cancer. And it's like you're evaluating the situation. You're looking at it in regard to how your emotional aspect has been affected here, I feel. And it's like, you know, do I, do I go for it or do I not? You know, here we have the hangman right at the bottom of the deck in regard to that. So it's like this person, this traitor, <laughs> I'll pull clarifying cards for this, but this person has basically done you really wrong. And it's almost as if like now 
things are going in your favor. Things are coming up for you that are positive in regard to this. This person may be apologizing, but either way, it's almost like an alleviation of a lot of this negativity. But you're still feeling... I feel frustrated. I feel like... I don't know. It's not even like, do I trust you anymore? It's just, it's kind of like, okay, you're telling me. Okay. You know, um, show me more for cancer. You have the two of coins in reverse now. So, you know, this can, it can you know, the two of coins... For me, it's kind of back and forth. I feel it's back and forth in both ways. I feel it's out of balance and in balance. You know, like here, I feel we are balanced out. It's like an energy of balancing energies. You know, here, it's almost as if we're out of balance. You know, it's upside down. Um, things are not feeling like totally together yet. And that may be in regard to, well, we have the lovers at the bottom of the deck. So that may in regard, be in regard to the news that you hear. This may have been somebody who pretty much cheated on you um, and betrayed you emotionally. Um, this may be somebody communicating an apology, but also letting you know that they're going to go with somebody else, which is like, eh, but not really um, anything you can really do about that. Are you going to fight for somebody who doesn't want to be with you? Not good. I'll clarify it. Show me more for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Nine of Swords. So in our heads, frustration, sadness, worry, mental anguish. And again, we have the lovers at the bottom of the deck. So this is basically you, you feeling out of balance and out of sorts and hurt in regard to two people decision making between two people somebody's choice and decision to not remain with you but apologize to you or come out in regard to what it is that they've been doing and going to somebody else this could also be you doing this to somebody else as well it can go back and forth this is a general reading show me one more card for cancer please So you have, first off, you have um, the Four of Cups here. You've got the Nine of Cups in reverse, okay, with the Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So the Page of Cups talks about apologies. The Page of Cups talks about somebody communicating their emotions. Um, I mean, in regard to a love offer, Eh, I don't really know how much of an offer a page can make to a queen that doesn't really look like it right here. It looks like her back is to him, you know, what are you going to offer a queen if you're a page? This is like a infantile energy. Um, but in regard to an apology, it most definitely makes sense. If somebody's trying to communicate with you what it is that they've done, you know, apologize for what they've done. You're still in your head about it. You're still frustrated about it mentally and emotionally. You know, I don't know if you're going to be able to get past that immediately. But what ends up happening here is that we have a level of emotional imbalance again. You know, the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups doesn't always mean like your wishes are granted or you're not going to get your wish or, you know, your wishes are delayed. Like, sure, it can mean that. But I feel that this is more about emotional imbalance, frustration, hurt, feeling wronged by somebody who you loved, who you once felt emotionally connected with. Um, and in regard to the Four of Cups, this is not making an offer. We have somebody here offering this girl their cup, their apology, their communication emotionally, but it's not being taken. Okay. That's not being taken. So let's go ahead and clarify some things here as it seems like an apology or at least some sort of heartfelt communication is here. It feels like somebody feels remorse or there's some regret here, but like, you know, 
maybe that's it. Like, maybe that just needs to be it. They may be choosing to go with somebody else. You may be choosing to go with somebody else. There may be two other people involved. Every situation is going to be different. This is a general reading. You have to piece it together how it makes sense for you. Not every single piece in this reading is going to pertain to you. You know, this isn't a personal reading. Show me the sun for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Show me the sun for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Show me the sun. Okay, so you have the King of Cups here, Cancer. Now we've got the Queen of Cups here. Okay, so we have two people, two sun, two um, water signs. Okay, so the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is the Scorpio King card. Um, basically, this is somebody here illuminating what it is that they're, yeah, illuminating what it is that's happened. If this is your partner, your previous partner, it's like you felt very connected with them. I mean, I would hope so. You'd be in a relationship with them, but this is almost as if it's like um, two, two, two court cards of the same suit, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. There is an emotional connection there. There's a very watery connection. It's very beautiful. It's very feeling. It's very emotive. It's it's something that you feel like you can connect to and be um, have your heart fully engaged. And it feels like this person may have stepped on that. This person, what's at the bottom of the deck for the King of Cups, is the Ace of Swords. So communicating their truth, cutting through the BS, being very honest about what it is that they've gone through or caused you to go through and um you know very much about this justice card they're bringing justice to a situation they're communicating what it is that they need to communicate so that you have the full understanding you know it doesn't feel like this is completely a secret this ten of swords it feels like we are very much in the know about that and now they're bringing it even more so in the know show me justice for cancer sun moon rising venus show me justice please So the three of wands here, it was sideways. I'm going to read it. it sideways, it's like a 50-50 shot. Um, this situation with this person, it's almost as if it, it's almost as if it's bringing you back memories of like, well, I thought you were the one. I thought you were supposed to be this right person for me. And it kind of betrayed me here we've got judgment on the bottom of the deck it's like now it's calling for you to utilize your judgment in regard to the situation which is hard especially when we've told ourselves or we believe that this person is the one for us not everybody's perfect there's nobody perfect and people make mistakes especially when <laughs> well people make mistakes Show me the Ten of Swords for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Show me the Ten of Swords for Cancer. Thank you. So we have the Knight of Swords here now. Okay, Cancer. And we've also got Death at the bottom of the deck. You may very well be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, this person is, you know, in regard to the Knight of Cups. Um, the Knight of Cups, it talks about, yeah, it can talk about somebody wanting to sweep you off your feet. I don't think this is that. I think this is more like somebody being very open about their emotions. You know, it almost ties into the page of cups in regard to apologies, communicating emotional um, information that may be very, very difficult to communicate, but also difficult to hear, you know, but you've got the death card at the bottom of the deck with this. So it's like whatever they're communicating we have two cards of finality here, the death card, the ten of swords, and we also have this page of uh, knight of cups. So it's like whatever they're communicating, it's almost like incredibly heartfelt, incredibly sad and sorrowful, but it's like a recognition of the end of a situation. That may be why you're so hurt here. She does not look happy. This queen of cups does not look happy. She looks sad. She looks careworn. She looks painful. Show me the Queen of Cups here for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Show me the Queen of Cups for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Month of November. Show me the Queen of Cups. Yeah, yeah Cancer. So 
you're bringing justice to this situation. This person is bringing justice to this situation. We have a communication here where bullshit is being cut out. If this has been a relationship that is, you know, a marriage has been existing in this situation, this is likely a um, divorce. Okay. This may be why you are turning into this queen of pentacles. A, you could be dealing with a um, earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, either way, I don't, I don't feel that that's the case. I feel that this is more like taking care of yourself in regard to what stabilizes you entirely. That may be what's most so on your mind at this time. You know, the Queen of Cups is very emotional, but we have to make sure that we are not just staying and, you know, dying in our emotions. We have to make forward movement. You know, clarity is very helpful in that. If somebody is speaking their truth to you and apologizing, you know, the pain may be there, but the clarity is now there. Utilize the clarity. You have temperance at the bottom of the deck. This talks about emotional healing. This talks about being able to step away from the pain that we've been experiencing and heal. When we realize and recognize what it is that we've experienced in situations, we can temper ourselves to something more so suited for our progression toward health and healing, mental health, healing, self-care, taking care of ourselves. You know, you may also be needing to balance out the energies with this person. And um, in regard to if you have children with this person, getting everything in a row. So, you know, a divorce or finalization of legal matters can be made. Show me the Eight of Spears, the Eight of Wands. Show me the Eight of Wands, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Yeah, so, like I said, talking about everything. This is getting that you have a Knight of Swords here for this person. You have everything in regard to this situation. It's basically talking about it to the nitty-gritty, getting down to the very, very nitty-gritty. This Knight of Swords... It's very blunt communication. It's communication that can be incredibly painful, but it's necessary communication. It's getting down to the bare bones of a matter so we can suss everything out and move forward practically in regard to walking away, in regard to finalizing the situation out. It's not a easy read. This energy that I'm feeling here feels a very matter of fact, like, okay, this is the next step. This is the next step. I appreciate you communicating. It's almost as if it's, um, I don't know, this won't be it for everybody, but it's almost as if we've gotten to the point where it's like, okay, okay, this happened. Okay, I'm going to do everything to make it move forward in a positive way. I'm hurting, but at least we've been able to talk about this to this point and I can move forward. I can move forward. It's almost like I can move forward. I can move forward. I can move forward. Like, like. Psych yourself into it. You can move forward. It's okay. Show me the Five of Swords in reverse. So the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So out of balance, most definitely. We have the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Out of balance. This is talking about, um, you know, giving to others, you know, where it's like... <laughs> We're giving to other people when we should be giving to one person or like our own particular situation and we're overextending ourselves. Sometimes that's essentially when people are cheating. We're giving to somebody else when we should really be giving over here. Whatever it is, we've been left the three of swords. So this is pain, heartbreak, regret. I feel that this is third party situation energy, honestly. Yeah, that pretty much like messed up a relationship of family like a like a home situation with you and your partner show me the two of coins in reverse please for cancer sun moon rising and venus show me the two of coins for cancer sun moon rising and venus please no yeah so you are in your head you are emotionally out of balance in regard to the situation the ten of pentacles talks about long-standing family relationship it talks about situations that um, essentially deal with a lot of money. If you're dealing with a situation where you are waiting for a payout, it almost is, is, is in your, it's almost as if it is in your favor. Um, but there's other legal things that need to proceed, proceed first. You know, it's due to toxic relationships though. Again, third party relationships, things that are done under secret. Um, and it's basically put 
this in jeopardy, you know? Um, this could also mean, too, that you may be coming into some money. That's not for every single person, but you may be coming into some money. And for those that make sense, that may be it. Show me the Nine of Swords for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Show me the Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords, you have the Seven of Wands in reverse Cancer. This is basically a lot of fighting. Here, we're putting down our wands. We're choosing to not fight. We're choosing to not use aggression. You know, it's almost as if we've got enough mental frustration on our own. We're releasing it now by choosing not to um, battle with somebody anymore, which is good. You know, that's very good information or very good headway progression. Um and it takes time. Like, like, you know, it's like we're actively not choosing to fight anymore with each other. We still are harboring mental frustration. It's still going on in our brain. We've still cycled through all of these things, but like it's being shut down. Thankfully. That's not bad. Show me the nine of cups in reverse for cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Show me the nine of cups for cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay. So, you know, we have, we have the, um, the eight of swords and the magician in regard to the nine of cups in reverse. Now the nine of cups, it does talk about emotional um, satisfaction to a degree, but it also here talks about emotional dissatisfaction being haywire in regard to our emotions all over the place, not knowing how to feel in regard to a situation. We're still in our head. You have the nine of swords here and you have the eight of swords. It's a progression, you know, but it's like we're still in our head about a matter. We're still in our head about moving forward in our own direction. You know, I feel here it's almost as if when you um, gather yourself and you're able to come into a sense of it's almost like a sense of stability within how you like next step, like the next step in you and also the next step in this situation, it seems as if um, that's when you're able to better stabilize the situation to move forward toward what you want, you know? Um, make sure that you communicate everything that you need in regard to the situation. If this is in front of a judge, you know, be compassionate. Try not to gut somebody, but like make sure you have everything that you need written down, everything that like, make sure because this needs to go more so in your favor if it is in front of like a court case situation type thing. Okay. But here, either way, we're walking away from a situation. We're allowing it to go. We're allowing it to die here, which is pretty much key overall. But after we do that, it gives us a new lease on a situation. Show me the Four of Cups for Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Show me the Four of Cups for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, yeah. Eight of Cups. Four of Cups. Not taking an offer, not making an offer, not really wanting to engage with much anymore, and walking away. Choosing to walk away from a situation. Okay? Um, I feel like I want to pull an Angel Oracle for you, Cancer. Show me for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Show me Cancer, November, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What message does Cancer need to hear? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, November 2018. What message is there for Cancer that you need to say? What message is here for Cancer, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Acceptance, Cancer acceptance see yourself and others through eyes see yourself and others through the eyes of the angels with unconditional love and acceptance in this way you inspire and lift everyone to their highest potential also you inspire and lift yourself or at least you lift yourself um acceptance this after this thing that's happened the acceptance is going to be a very very hard pill to swallow but it's also going to be something that progresses you. It, it graduates you. It causes you to grow in ways that you may have never been able to grow from or grow as before. Like one thing that I've learned in life is that incredible pain is my teacher. It's my lesson. I've had 
such tumultuous situations with people, with men, with experiences in life, within relationships. It's caused me to grow in ways that I never thought I would grow before. But what it has also done has it's stabilized me to the point where I know myself now. I know what I will get into, involved with. I know what I will not involve myself in. There's so many things about myself that I know. And it's also improved my um, self-awareness, self-acceptance, self-value, and self-worth. They're all important. And, you know, when we, when we um, actively choose to see ourselves in a higher way, in a higher light, it doesn't mean being conceited. It means I believe in myself, I trust myself, I know myself, and that's that. There's nothing wrong with it. When you do that, you meet the people in your life that are supposed to be in your life. This person was supposed to be in your life. They're here to show you things. They're here to show you you, your strength, your power. How do you progress after this? All right, Cancer. My name is Isil. I'm going to shut it down here. Um, I hope this reading was helpful for you. If it was, please feel free to, free to, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Um, yeah, I'll be back in a few weeks with the end or the beginning of um, December reading for you. And um, sorry, I've got cat hair. My life is full of cat hair. So, yeah. Um, yeah, feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. All right, take care, Cancer. Bye-bye. Good luck.